He is known for being an American naval officer, ship's captain, and explorer. He is recognized for leading the United States Exploring Expedition. He had numerous achievements and contributions in the field of philosophy. His name is Charles Wilkes. Charles Wilkes, an American naval officer and explorer, played a pivotal role in expanding the knowledge of the world through his leadership of the United States Exploring Expedition from 1838 to 1842. This ambitious expedition, also known as the Wilkes Expedition, aimed to explore and survey the vast uncharted regions of the Pacific Ocean and other parts of the globe. Setting sail from the United States in August 1838, the expedition first ventured into the South Pacific, reaching the Balany Islands in early 1839. These remote and uninhabited islands, located in the Southern Ocean, served as a valuable stop for the expedition to replenish supplies and conduct scientific observations. From there, the expedition continued its journey, making its way to Fiji, where Wilkes and his team documented the islands and their indigenous cultures. The Hawaiian Islands also fell within the path of the expedition, and Wilkes saw an opportunity to further explore these volcanic islands. The expedition visited the islands of Oahu, Maui, and Hawaii, with Wilkes leading excursions to study the geology, flora, and fauna of the islands. One of the notable sites visited was the majestic Mauna Loa, a massive shield volcano on the island of Hawaii. Continuing their exploration, the expedition sailed northward, passing through the Strait of Juan de Fuca and reaching the Columbia River, where they navigated the river and ventured into the interior of the Pacific Northwest. The expedition's presence in the region brought significant attention to the area's natural resources and potential for future settlement. After a brief return to the United States, the expedition set sail once again, this time heading southward to explore the Antarctic regions. In 1840, the expedition became the first to discover and chart a portion of the Antarctic coast, which Wilkes named the Wilkes Land. This groundbreaking achievement cemented the expedition's place in history and contributed immensely to our understanding of Antarctica. Upon completing their exploration of the polar regions, the expedition made its way to various ports around the world, including San Francisco Bay, where they conducted scientific studies and surveyed the surrounding area. They then sailed along the west coast of North America, charting the Sacramento River and gathering valuable information about the region's geography and resources. The expedition's global journey also took them to the Cape of Good Hope, where they stopped briefly before continuing their voyage. Along their route, they made stops at Bermuda, St. George's, and the James River, where they conducted surveys and collected scientific data. Unfortunately, Charles Wilkes' later career was marred by controversy. During the American Civil War, he commanded the USS San Jacinto and played a significant role in the Trent Affair. In November 1861, he intercepted the Royal Mail ship Trent in the Bahamas waters and forcibly removed two Confederate diplomats, almost leading to a war between the United States and the United Kingdom. Despite this controversy, Charles Wilkes' expeditions had a profound impact on the world. The United States Exploring Expedition, under his leadership, expanded our knowledge of the Pacific Ocean, discovered new lands, and contributed to the fields of geography, cartography, and natural sciences. His legacy as an explorer and naval officer endures, reminding us of the remarkable achievements made during the age of exploration and discovery. Charles Wilkes, born in New York City in 1798, had a unique upbringing under the care of his aunt, Elizabeth and Seton. Fluent in French, Charles developed a strong linguistic ability that would prove useful throughout his career. After attending Columbia College, he joined the United States Navy in 1818 and quickly rose through the ranks. In 1833, he was entrusted with the survey of Narragansett Bay, leading to his appointment as head of the Navy's Department of Charts and Instruments. This role would later contribute to the establishment of the Naval Observatory and Hydrographic Office. Wilkes' expertise in various fields earned him recognition, and he was elected to the American Philosophical Society in 1843. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.